Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today the latest trailer dropped for Star Trek Picard. Just a little teaser trailer, nothing too amazing. There weren't huge amounts of new shots in this trailer, um, but there were a couple of new ones that we haven't seen before that are definitely worth uh, delving into and examining and seeing if we might learn a little bit more information about what to expect in Star Trek Picard. So the uh, trailer starts with a shot of Picard, which looks like a dream sequence shot with him, what looks like in 10 forward on the old Enterprise D. And if we compare these background tiles that are behind his head in this trailer, with a original photo from 10 forward, we can see that these tiles on the back wall match. So this is definitely a shot in the old 10 forward from Enterprise D without a doubt. Um, he looks like he's shocked about something and we've got, uh, looks like Mars or some sort of red planet resembling Mars out the window um, with explosions and so forth going off. So this is like a dream sequence shot of something I imagine, which could actually link back to the um, upcoming Children of Mars uh, short trek, which we expect to see uh, coming soon in January before the series comes out. Next, we've got a, uh, a shot of a Borg fellow here uh, in, as part of a dream sequence. Don't recognize him. It doesn't look familiar to me. A creepy shot of a Borg drone and a shot of Picard saying that uh, he will do what has to be done. Very serious. And then a shot of Picard with this, uh, I think it must be a Romulan gesture or greeting holding the hands open in the double palm there uh, in his nice white linen uh, outfit there. Looks like he's at some sort of function or uh, wedding or some sort of uh, fancy gathering. And then we see a shot of this fellow here in sick bay, looking somewhat ill and Picard looking a little bit distressed, but he's urging Picard to find the truth. Now, probably the one piece of information that's the biggest reveal in this trailer is if we look closely at these uh, these ships, which we've seen before in past trailers, uh, attacking a station uh, in orbit of a planet. If we zoom in closely on the hull of the ships, we can see the Starfleet uh, insignia on the hull. Now, this is very interesting because these ships don't necessarily look like Starfleet configuration. Um, whether there's some sort of new design, I'm not sure. So it's unclear as to why Starfleet ships, if they are in fact Starfleet ships, are attacking this starbase or uh, facility. I wonder if this ties into the Countdown comic in terms of the Utopia Planitia shipyards, which are uh, in orbit of Mars and uh, the Geordie LaForge is in command of, which uh, according to the Countdown comic, he's in the midst of uh, building a rescue fleet of ships for the Romulans. So it seems odd that if the Federation are going to that much effort to to build this massive uh, rescue armada for the Romulans, why Federation fighter craft or whatever these ships are with Federation or Starfleet insignia on them are attacking this base. Maybe it's some sort of splinter group or maybe it's sort of a Section 31 thing or there's a um, Starfleet faction that doesn't want the Romulan saved by Geordie's uh, evacuation fleet perhaps. I'm not sure, just speculating. And then a shot of Agnes Girati, the Doctor, undergoing a mind meld from what I assume is probably a Romulan. And a Borg cube. Now they've changed the, um, the shielding... Um, configuration on this Borg cube now. It used to be blue in the past trailers, but they've changed it to green now to either resemble the uh, the green of the technology that the Borg use, or it could even be the, the green of the technology that the Romulans use. So it works for both races. So I'm not sure which is which, but it obviously is more consistent with what we've seen before. And then the trailer finally wraps up with another little interaction between Riker and Picard, where Riker asks Picard, uh, what have you got yourself into? So that's pretty much it. Nothing too mind-blowing. Most of the shots in the trailer are repeats of shots we've already seen from past trailers. So I wasn't going to kind of go into them in too much detail. I was just going to cover the new stuff we hadn't seen. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section and let's get the chat started. As always, please subscribe and I'll see you next time on my next video.